Last videos we have discussed how to make visual for overall progress gauge chart, visual for progress data, and two visuals for planned manpower versus actual manpower. The next visuals is depending on WPS, the project component, the phases and work type, and the construction progress. If we review the WPS in Primavera project, I have four levels. The first level is the overall project. The second level is the phases. The third level, it will be the work. And the final level is the floors. Now, in Power BI, I want to separate all these levels as a code with related costs to do my visuals. So let's start our work in Power BI. Now let's change one option in the Power BI, which will help us in the relation between the tables later. Go to File, Option Settings, Options. For the current file, Data Load. This auto detect new relations we want to uncheck. I don't want him to predict any relation between the tables. Okay. Now let's open Power Query through Transform Data. In the last videos, we have created task table from the exported Excel file from Primavera. Now to make the WPS table, I'll make table reference to task table. Right click to the task and then reference. It will create a table related to the task. Let me rename the table WPS. Okay. I want from this table only two columns, WPS ID and WPS name. Right click and then remove others. If you see here, we have a duplicate in some values. So I will select the two columns, go to home, group by, WPS and WPS name. It will remove all the duplication and create one column called count. We can just delete this column. Now I want to duplicate the WPS ID column. So I will go to add column, custom. I will name it level equal WPS ID. The level has the four level of the WPS separated by the period. I want to create the four codes. I will select level and go to home, split column by delimiter. This delimiter is the period. Okay. Now I have the four codes, one for the stage, second for work, and the four is the floor levels. Now let's create the phases. It will be based on level two. So again, I will select WPS, make table reference, and I rename it to phases. From level two, I will remove the null value by selecting the right arrow and then remove null. If you observe here, I have BW, which procurement work. This appear only if the next level is null. So I will select the, level, the next level three, remove all, and then select only null. I have here the codes and the name of the WPS. Let me select level two and WPS and then right click and remove others and rename the column to face. I will add to this table index number and we will use it later. Add index column from one, one, two, three, four. This one, I will use it for sorting the phases. 
let me create the work select WPS reference rename it to work this will relate it to level 3 first I will remove the null then select from the next level only the null value ST structure FW finish and so on I will select level 3 WPS name right click remove others and then add column index last one for the floors select WPS right click reference floors the last level for I only remove the null value then select level 4 and name right click remove others if you can see here I have duplicate in the code and the name I will select the two column go to home group by I will group this column by level and WPS to remove all the duplication ok it will create one column called count I can remove it and then add column index this index will help me to have ground floor as one and roof as the last for the work I will rename WPS name as work and for floors I will rename it to floor now finish go to file close and apply let's go to the layout I have here all the tables if there is any link between the tables just delete it let me add new layout add the tasks add WPS table I will link the WPS ID to the WPS ID to delete any relation just select it and right click and delete move it here let me add now the phases table link level 2 to level 2 work level 3 to level 3 and finally floors level 4 to level 4 now my database is ready for visualizing the other visuals now we are ready to do all remain visuals and play with the interactives next video coming soon enjoy automation